Those steamy kissing scenes that win awards aren't always so steamy backstage. Turns out these celebs weren't so fond of their smooches or on-screen kissing partners. We've got all the tea on the stars that hated kissing each other. We're like, yeah, look at them, they're young. Not everyone's first kiss is a romantic fairy tale. For young actors, they get to share their first kiss on set in front of an entire crew. Disgust. No, it's in disgust! In Millie Bobby Brown's case, she had to kiss her Stranger Things co-star in front of her whole family, the cast and crew, and more than 8 million fans that tuned in for the big moment. So, no big deal, right? Well, Millie says it was the most awkward thing in the world for her, and Finn says that was the moment that the show's creators and directors noticed he didn't know how to kiss. Jennifer Lawrence's efforts to make kissing Liam Hemsworth uncomfortable for him during Hunger Games were not in vain. Liam recalls how J-Law used to specifically eat onions, garlic, and even tuna fish right before their kissing scenes, and joked about how she hasn't bothered to brush her teeth either. Ugh. But it's not that they didn't enjoy kissing each other, because Jennifer revealed the co-stars had shared a smooch off-screen. Liam just didn't like kissing her tuna fish garlicky breath, and that is totally fair. What would you have done? Kate Winslet doesn't like kissing her co-stars, especially when her husband is the director. During the filming for Revolutionary Road, Kate felt incredibly awkward having to kiss her longtime friend Leo DiCaprio in front of her then-husband Sam Mendes, who was the director. She was the only one feeling awkward about it, though. Leo says he was incredibly comfortable with the kissing, and considering they did a lot of kissing during the Titanic, it's like walking down memory lane, but different because Kate wasn't a married woman in 1997. I'm sure Harry's kissing was more than satisfactory. When you grow up with someone on set, the thought of kissing them could be <sighs> awkward. The kissing scene between Harry Potter stars Emma Watson and Rupert Grint was so awkward, Rupert refuses to watch the scene and is glad it only took one take. Because, as he put it, it was really surreal. It was just as awkward for Emma, who counts Rupert as a brother, who found the entire thing horrible, and she says it felt like something illegal. But she managed to push through and keep it professional for that one take. Yeah. <laughs> Things got pretty physical between Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger while filming the Oscar-nominated classic Brokeback Mountain. But it's not in the way you're thinking. Things got so passionate on set that Jake says his co-star almost broke his nose trying to kiss him. And considering one take usually isn't enough, they had to keep doing it over and over. Jake says even their fight scenes weren't as physically demanding as their intimate scenes, to the point that he describes it as getting beat up. Yikes! I mean, I don't know how we got this rating. While filming Water for Elephants, Reese Witherspoon was so grossed out kissing and being intimate with her co-star Robert Pattinson because he was sick. Reese says Roberts had such a terrible cold, he was snorting and sneezing the entire time, which made it difficult for her to feel comfortable getting up close and personal with her co-star. I'll spare you the gory details of how she described his snot. Just know green and infectious was used. Ew, no! And it made the worst on-screen experience she's ever had. I guess I feel kind of different. It's not that James McAvoy didn't want to kiss Angelina Jolie. In fact, he described working with her as cool on wanted. But he would have preferred if it wasn't on her first day and first scene on set, and they'd had a chance to warm up to each other. But that's the way of the industry. It doesn't matter if you're comfortable with each other, you have to sell the kiss. For James, he will always remember it for being the most awkward kiss. Would you just stay with me? Stay with you. They are rom-com royalty, but Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams could hardly stand each other when they started working on The Notebook. It's hard to imagine anyone else playing Allie and Noah, but there was a time Ryan didn't even want to act in the same scene as Rachel, let alone kiss her. It got so heated between the co-stars, they had a screaming match, but they finally calmed down enough to give us the rom-com of the decade. Clearly, something clicked for them because they dated for a while after the movie. Put your manners back in. Icky is a strong word, but Thady Newton felt it was the best description of her on-screen kiss with Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible 2. It wasn't just awkward because of how precise everything has to be in film. Even the more intimate scenes require an analytical approach. But Thady didn't stop there. She also described Mr. Mission Impossible's kisses as 
sort of wet. Ugh. No matter how you spin it, that isn't the greatest compliment, and it doesn't help that Thady revealed she was scared of Tom while filming because of his work ethic. Don't do it. It's all well and good to take your vitamins to be as healthy as possible, but unfortunately for Miles Teller, the kind of vitamins his co-star Shailene Woodley was taking while filming The Spectacular Now were so natural, he says they smelled and tasted so bad. Like dirt. Right before their first scene, Shailene had taken a bunch of these dirt supplements, which meant Miles just had to power through the bad smell and weird taste left behind on Shailene's breath. What a trooper. I don't know, he was like, it was weird kissing an older guy. Before we get into this, let's remember things were different in the 90s, and these days you probably won't see an 11-year-old have to kiss a 30-year-old and it be considered normal. But for Kirsten Dunst, she was the 11-year-old that had to kiss a 30-year-old Brad Pitt in the movie Interview with a Vampire. And she's always felt grossed out about it. I thought it was disgusting. It was like... More than 25 years after the movie's released, Kirsten still stands by the fact that the kiss was gross and weird. And I can't say I blame her. Vanessa Hudgens says she'd rather kiss a girl than kiss James Franco. While filming Spring Breakers, there were quite a number of intimate scenes between the cast, but Vanessa says the most awkward was the scene she shared with Ashley Benson and James Franco. She says it was a nerve-wracking scene for her, and once it was over, she told her agent to never book her for scenes like that. But when it came to her makeout with Ashley, she says she felt the most comfortable. Hello! <laughs> During Zac Efron's appearance on Sweet Life of Zac and Cody, Ashley says their iconic kissing scene was so awkward, and she rates it her worst on-screen kiss ever. Not just because she and Zac were like brother and sister, and it's a little weird making out with someone you consider family, but because their on-screen kissing standards were not the same. Ashley says Zac was used to acting and kissing for an older demographic, while at Disney, Ashley kept things pretty PG. It's a no-tongue zone over there. Cigarettes and kissing scenes aren't a combo Allison Hannigan enjoyed during her time on How I Met Your Mother. Unfortunately for her, her on-screen husband, Jason Segel, was a chain smoker. Even with mints and gum, Allison still described kissing him like kissing an ashtray. It was so bad, they made a bet that each time Jason smoked, he would pay Allison $10. By the end of the day, he was $200 deep. Quitting cold turkey only worked for a year before Jason smoked again, and Allison had to endure the smoker's breath kisses. Yeah. Could you imagine someone describing kissing you as gross? Orlando Bloom is better than me because his response to Zoe Saldana saying his kisses were gross in their movie Haven was that he also didn't enjoy kissing her either. In fact, he says he downright hated it. Zoe's partner at the time, Keith Britton, was on set during their kiss, which made things extra awkward for Orlando, who was wrestling with Zoe's tongue in his mouth. <laughs> okay, it's kind of hard to believe that some of these stars couldn't stand kissing each other on screen, but which of these grossed out on screen kissing partners surprised you? Let us know in the comments below. And for more updates on your favorite celebs, like, share, and subscribe to The Thing Celebrity.